Hello everyone, right, yes, live action and not GeoGuessr for a change. Um, today I'm playing a game called Go For A Walk Bingo, it's something I came up with about five minutes ago. Um, so I'm going to just do it and see how it goes. I have come to a random suburb of Basildon. This one happens to be Pitsy. I've, um, I just picked where I was going at random and I've come to this uh, back street in Pitsy to start looking for things. Now what I did is I posted on Facebook asking people to give me suggestions of things to look for and I've got quite a substantial list now. Here is my list of things that I need to look for. Um, I will go through it uh, as, I, as I walk along. I'm just going to walk around randomly. I'm not following a route. I'm just going to see what I can find. Um, let me say something. It is very interesting to see what you guys and my Facebook friends, the, the preconceptions you hold about Pitsy. But um, yeah, some of these may be harder than others. But first thing on the list of things to look for is a rainbow. Well here I am, but I don't think that counts. Let's go see what we can do. That is a post box. That was suggested by Sylvia and um, a George V post box was suggested by Hans, but that's an Elizabeth one and a priority one apparently for the NHS. Well there you go, uh, for Covid checks I suppose. Right, well I can take that one off then can't I? At least the Elizabeth one, not the George one. A pink flower was on the list, thanks Phoenix. You can see it, but that is a black cat. And a black cat was on the list. Well, these pink flowers are even better, and there's some garden ornaments there. So, thanks Phoenix for the suggestion of pink flowers. Uh, thanks Xenia for the suggestion of garden ornaments. I did say a gnome as well, but I can't see a gnome. I'll carry on looking for a gnome. And also, just over there, is a mask on the floor which Anya suggested. So that's three in one, just this little square. Now Xenia also suggested a hollyhock flower. Is one of those a hollyhock? I have absolutely no idea, but they are flowers and they're nice. So I'm gonna say it is, I don't know if this is coming out on the camera, but there is a butterfly over there. And butterfly was on my list. I bet it's not showing now. to look for is someone wearing their mask wrong. And I don't know if you can see it but there's someone over there with their mask around their neck so that should count. Although I was looking for under the nose as well. Okay I've just stopped here because I'm about to go into a shopping bit like some local shops so I might actually see some people around there and there are some people on the list. Now this is what I mean by my uh, people who I ask on Facebook. Um, your opinions of Pitsy are perhaps lower than they should be because it's been quite lovely so far. So I've got to look for a crackhead. Thanks Mike S. I'm not going to know if someone is on crack am I? I'm not going to go up to someone and say hey you're on crack. So I will assume that to be anybody who appears to be in a drunk or disorderly state. I'm not going to question their life choices, I'm not going to judge them, but I am going to look out for them on this walk. Uh, a woman in a tracksuit pushing twins and smoking. Thank you Michael B. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to see that because, you know, for all the uh, all Basildon's reputation, I don't think I'm going to see that. Uh, someone wearing a mask wrong. Well, I just saw that person, but I don't think I got the camera out quick enough, so uh, I will keep my eye out for that. And also, it was specified um, under their nose, like like that, um, on one person's suggestion as well. So I will look out for that. Someone with a souped-up corsa. Probably not, you know. Uh, someone with a face painted like they're on TOWIE. Again, probably not, but I will keep my eye out. And a drunk person at a pub. It specifically said Weatherspoons. Thanks, Michael B, for that. Um, I'm not going anywhere near a Weatherspoons. The nearest one is in Basildon Town Centre. And I am in Pitsy. I'm quite far away from there, so I'm not going all the way down there. Um, also got to look for a random stranger smiling and saying hello. I reckon that one's doable. Uh, someone smoking something that is not tobacco. We'll see what we can do with that. Uh, someone else playing go for a walk bingo. Thank you, Colin. I don't think that's going to happen because it's a concept I came up with about five minutes before I started filming. Um, but we will we will carry on and we will give it a go. That person with the dog just smiled and said hello and they're a stranger. Tick. And also there's a car over there that is most definitely yellow. So I can tick off yellow car. That's Anya and Xenia's uh, suggestion there so that one's tick as well. I think that counts as a rainbow doesn't it? Or if that one doesn't that definitely does. 
Lots of people still have rainbows in their windows to support the NHS, so not too difficult that one. And that is an abandoned trolley. That was suggested by Alice. So Alice, there is your abandoned trolley. And Xenia suggested a grey house. Now that to me looks quite grey. The sun's behind it, so you can't really see it from there on the phone, but that is a grey house. A bit better from this angle. That is most definitely a grey house. Alice, I found you some more trolleys. That's three so far in the space of two minutes. That down there is a feather, which was another suggestion from Xenia. One of the suggestions from Anya was a needle on the floor, and I find myself coming down a poke little alleyway <laughs> looking for a needle on the floor. What is going on with my life? But do you know what? I don't think I'm going to find one. This area really isn't as bad as you guys think it is. No, I don't think I'm going to go over there. Um, I don't think I'm going to find a needle. But what I have found is three more abandoned trolleys. Okay, well, I'm coming to this park. Um, it's quite busy in here. Not that you can tell from the lake, but uh, there are a lot of people in here enjoying the sun. So I might see some more of the people I've got to look for. Um, in the meantime, I'll go over some more of the things I've got to look for. So needles on the floor. I don't think I'm going to find that, Anya. Honestly, I don't. Uh, potentially a hollyhock flower. I saw some flowers. I don't know what a hollyhock is, so I don't know about that one. Um, some stones organised into a nice shape. That's uh, Carolyn's suggestion. Um, I'll keep looking for those. Uh, also a phone box, a penny on the floor, a lost shoe and a for sale sign. I reckon if I go back up to that... Um, little housing area, that residential bit where I was before, I reckon I'll be able to find the for sale sign at the very least and possibly some stones in a shape. I've also, also got to look for a dog taking a shit, thanks Michael B for that one, um, some bees and some butterflies. I saw a butterfly but I don't think I got it on camera and it was very small so I'm going to keep looking out for some more of those too. Can I count that as a butterfly? It's not a real one but neither was the rainbow that counted right? That's a butterfly. For what it's worth, there is a real butterfly flitting around over there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there are definitely butterflies here. I've seen real ones too. That's a trolley. Okay, this is getting silly now. There are millions of these trolleys absolutely everywhere. And someone just up ahead of me walking a dog, and I was like, oh, maybe that dog's going to do a shit. This game is weird, man. But they went to the dog poo bin, so I think I might have missed the uh, magic moment itself. But there is another trolley over there. I reckon you could collect them all. That's farm foods. I bet there's trolleys from every shop. Got to catch them all. Just to add it on, that's a gnome as well. So I've got garden ornaments, but specifically that is a gnome. I found a phone box. I don't think there's a phone in there. Um, there used to be, maybe. It's a smashed up shell, but it was once a phone box. So I am counting that. And I'll just stop here for a second and take stock of where I am. So um, the things I'm getting there and the animals, the people are probably the hardest ones. Um, mostly because the people who commented on my Facebook have got uh, some awful prejudices about Basildon. It really isn't as bad as you guys think it is. It really isn't. Um, I think maybe those two over there might count as the towie ones though. They, they look a little bit orange. I'll tick that off. But yeah, I think if I was sat somewhere just like um, people watching then I'd be able to get a, a clearer sort of uh, chance of seeing all the different people. Um, or if I was in the town centre. But I'm in this little neighbourhood um, not in central Basildon, in, in North Pitsy. So uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult to find all of the um, interesting characters that have been suggested. I've been hovering around these shops for a minute. I was just looking for someone who's wearing their mask wrong, um, like just under their nose, but most people aren't wearing a mask at all. I've seen someone wearing one as a chin strap, but um, just looking at people going in and out of the shops and hoping that they're gonna have a mask under their nose, but doesn't look like there is anyone, so yeah, I think it's uh, all covered or nothing covered. I do have my own mask with me, um, in case I need to go in any shops, but at the moment I've been uh, outside in the open air, so I haven't had it on. 
but um, I was hoping I might see something here, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get that one. Scouting around the floor for pennies and lost shoes, but there is nothing but trolleys and another yellow car. How's this one for gnomes and garden ornaments? I think that definitely ticks that off the list if it wasn't already. There have been absolutely tons of masks on the floor as well. I haven't been uh, getting a shot of all of those like I have the trolleys because there's so many and it's a little bit depressing. That is a for sale sign. Not just any for sale sign, they're selling purple bricks. Which uh, would be great if you want to build a purple house, right? Those people over there have got a dog, right? And that dog just did a shit. Now, what Michael B actually said was a dog taking a shit on the floor. The dog took a shit and the owner was holding a bag <laughs> to collect it in. So it went straight into the bag. So I don't think that counts as a dog taking a shit on the floor. What can you do? Okay, I'm gonna count this as stones arranged into a nice pattern. They are some big stones and they are arranged nicely. Some over there too. I'm counting that one. Bees. Loads of bees. I don't know if they're showing on camera, but that bush is absolutely full of bees. So I can tick bees off of it. There's so many bees in that bush. I'm trying to get a bit closer without getting stung. Just to get a shot of these bees. There are so many bees. I really hope they're picking up on the camera because that is a lot of bees. Okay, I'm nearly back where I started, so I'm going to pack my things away and go home, I think. But um, but that was good. I ticked off a lot of the suggestions. Thank you, everybody, who made suggestions. There have been more on that thread from my friends on Facebook uh, since I started this walk. But also, if you've got anything you think I should be looking for, post it in the comments below. I don't know where I'm going to do the next one. Probably South End or somewhere like that. But um, yes, so here are the things that I have not seen on this walk that I will be looking out for next time. A crackhead. A woman in a tracksuit pushing twins while smoking. Again, you know, your, your views of Basildon need to be updated for the modern day, really. Uh, someone wearing a mask wrong under their nose like that. I'm, there's no one around here. I haven't seen anyone specifically with it like that on this walk, which is weird because they're normally everywhere, um, but not today. Uh, a drunk person at a pub. I didn't go past any pubs, so I didn't find a drunk person at a pub. Uh, that's that's another one to look for next time. Um, someone smoking something that isn't tobacco. Yeah, nothing at the moment. And somebody else playing go for a walk bingo. <laughs> That's a really hard one, Colin. I don't know if anyone else is gonna be playing a game that came into my head like an hour ago. Well, more than that now, but I've been walking for a long time, actually. Anyway, other things I still need to look for. Needles on the floor. There aren't any needles on the floor in Basildon, at least not in this part of it um, anyway. So next time I'm going to have to keep my eye out. Uh, a hollyhock flower. I don't know if I saw one or not, so that's still on the list. Uh, also a penny on the floor and a lost shoe. They're still on the list for me to look for next time. And finally, a dog taking a shit on the floor rather than into a bag in someone's hand. Yes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it actually, walking around and ticking things off. It's been quite fun. So um, I'll definitely do another one. I've got to find all those and any new comments that have been added, new comments on this video too, I will add to the list for next time. And I'll probably be making another video before then that is uh, more GeoGuessr based. I've been making a lot of GeoGuessr videos, but nobody watches them. They get, I'm lucky to get double figures in the views on those, but it doesn't matter because I enjoy making them and I enjoy playing GeoGuessr. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.